today's tale. Caesar is playing Battletech and I am super excited. We are playing the campaign today and welcome to the Reach. The Oregon Reach. And we're going to make ourselves a character. Alrighty. Alrighty. Basically, uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere and we are help here to help some lady with her uh, getting to the, the crown here. So... You got a bit of background here. You can pick who your family's come from out in the reach. You get some uh, some things from this, other things you don't. For where we came from, I haven't really seen much so far, but I've only played about a couple of hours uh, just to get a feel of things. So we're going to be the. Uh, I like the Liao. They are one of my favorite ones here. So we're going to pick them and we are going to scoot along. So I'm going to skip over a lot of the story here. I'm more for the meat and bones sort of guy. But uh, basically this guy's our instructor here. Old Mastiff. Raju. And uh, we've got our ancestral battle mech. The, uh, the blackjack. It's, uh, it's an interesting mech. It's uh, not one of my favorites. But uh, alright sir. What have you got for me? Alright so we've got... Uh, our <laughs> 16th birthday <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get pretty much screwed here now these do have a bit of an influence on your characters they give you certain stats here so you can get things like gunnery and tactics uh, piloting and tactics now having you can highlight over the things anything that's yellow you can actually highlight over to see what is going on here um, things like I mean gunnery is what it says on the box right you get better hit chances uh, tactics, uh, things like indirect fire and information on mechs um, and depending on what skills you want to take you can kind of fast track yourself through this uh, I take things like guts because it gives you a bit more survivability down the track on your character this isn't set in stone so no matter what you take here other than some few uh, choice words in your uh, conversation dialogues it's not hugely important you can fix these up later on before you take skills but uh, I do like guts and I do like gunnery so we are gonna be betrayed <sighs> somebody stole our seat of power and lastly I'm gonna go for gunnery again uh, so we're gonna be the Solar Solaris gladiator here you can be uh, it could be a coalition soldier as well and there's nothing yeah, it's nothing I really want. Freelancer, tactics. So, I mean, there are two with gunnery here. I do like the Solaris Gladiator. I mean, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I mean, look at this dude. Look at this dude. That is going to be us. Welcome. From Solaris. So, this guy's basically picked us up out of the, uh, out of the Gladiator pits where we could have kind of died and we are going to be guarding Lady Camille here on her day of uh, coronation this cracks me up <laughs> I love this so you can be a she you can be a they or you can be a he uh, we're definitely going to be a, a they right <laughs> no. uh, we will be a anero anero on fire and off we go who do we want we want to be mr mop here no thanks uh oh dude can we be the the old man is this guy blind for a second i thought he had a blind eye um damn man this guy is he's working it he is working it uh what do we want here like you know what mr bog standard here he doesn't look too bad Although we could go for the scarred look. I mean, that's clear. This guy's clearly a gladiator, right? He's he's harsh pits. I mean, his hair is standing up all day, every day. All right, uh, let's make sure we got our name right. Excellent. Off we go. So we've got a pile of gunnery here. So our gunnery should be a reasonable level. I mean, for it's below average, but uh, pronounce he pronounce. Sorry, um, guts is okay. As I said, as you level up your pilots, you can fix all this stuff up. 
I am going to be skipping over the, uh, the, uh, cinematics here. If you've been watching any of these videos beforehand, you will have seen the cinematics. Um, basically we're just rocking up for Coronation Day. The old lady, she's riling up the crowds. And the very first mission we're going to do is actually going to be a tutorial. We're going to be learning how to shoot some dummies here. As I said, I've been playing, I played about, I first got the preview copy and I put in a whole bunch of hours into it just so that I could get a feel back for how to play. It's been, it's been a little since I played. I mean, the beta ended a while ago and we had probably four months of, you know, nothing. I forgot to back up my beta here, so I couldn't play offline. Log standard. Yep. Thanks, buddy. And we can rotate our camera. I mean, this is our, this is our little blackjack here. He is, he is fairly blinged out. <laughs> he's got the old gold look. And uh, the old Mastiff, he's going to be like, Okay, Anaro. We're going to put you through, uh, we're going to put you through your, uh, your paces here, and we're going to see what you can do. Let's see if the kinks are out. Of is this a kinky mech or what? All right, we're going to zoom out here. So first oh, things first, can, can move around. Um, if you, you alright buddy, shush. Alright, thanks Mastiff, thanks for that. So the way you, if you've never seen Battletech before, and I assume if you're here you have, uh, you've got movement pips, uh, you can move basically to any of these white dots, um, white dots mean you're out in the open, colored dots, so if we could move into the trees we'd be able to see that, uh, they were green. If you get a red line, then it just means that we've got ability to shoot on these guys. And if you see the eyeball above things, it means they can see you. So, basically if we moved here, which we can't because the game is like, nope. But if we could, you can see that these mechs don't have the red eye up here. So they couldn't see us if we were to move here. But we're going to move up. And uh, we're going to get this funny old white facing here. Now, it's kind of hard to explain. But, uh... This is the front facing, right? But on these sides are also the sides you'll make. You'll see a lot more of this as we go along, as we blow people apart here. But uh, let's go, Raju. Raju, did you uh, load the ammo in? Time to conduct some ammo tests. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything, but my gut tells me something's off, and a warrior trusts their instincts. Something is definitely off, buddy. All right. <clears throat> We got some trash cans out here, poor old Irby's, and we are going to toast them, man, we have a lot of weapons uh, on this baby, a couple of medium lasers, a whole bunch of ACs, let's just toast this guy, and get on with our life, wow, there is a lot of things getting destroyed there, good shot, tally ho, your guns are working, at least, alright, so we got a few more target dummies, so, in this game, there's a couple of vehicles as well, um, as well as mechs, so you do have to kind of deal with numerous things. There's no infantry, but uh, one can hope. One can like always hope. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. He was a good friend, buddy. He was. So the other thing here is, uh, when you target mechs, or vehicles in this case, you can have a look at what you're going to hit. So the red lines kind of indicate whereabouts you're going to hit. So we've got a uh, front facing shot so we can hit anything that's on the front. Obviously we can't hit the rear because um, that would be an amazing bendy AC2 round. And we can see how much armor this baby's got. So it'll take us a fair bit to get through the front. About 90 damage on the armor but it would only take us 22 on the structure before he blows up. He should take a fair bit of this and be fairly happy. There's no way that alpha is going to go through. I think on our alpha we only do uh, 25, 225s. Probably about 100 damage. Maybe 150. Just vaguely remembering. So I'll talk about a couple of other things on the mech. We've got a couple of bars here. We've got a red bar that will slowly fill up. That's our heat. Uh, if you ever played any mech warrior game, you will know all about the heat. 
and how unfun it is when your mech overheats. Got the stability bar down here. So when we hit this threshold here, or this threshold here, means we've basically gone over the uh, the good stuff and into the bad stuff. Uh, over here, once we're past this white marker here, we'll start overheating and taking some heat damage. Once we're over this marker, we are unstable and uh, we can't sprint. And if we go too far, we'll just get knocked down. Alright, let's toast this guy. So as I was saying, we do about, uh, what is this? This is like 100, 150 damage each round. So this guy should be pretty stuffed. He has turned around now, so we can hit him in the butt. But you can see the butt is pretty much unarmored. He has seven armor. He is. He is toast. Anything in forest areas take 25% uh, less damage. Uh, I should have shown you the shield. But uh, nice shot. Nice shot, sir. Alright, let's get going. Go up ahead and fire jump jets, kids. Sure, buddy. So the thing with our character in this uh, campaign is uh, we cannot die at least. We can fail missions, but uh, your pilots can die, your other pilots, but your main character, he just sort of never dies. He can be out of action for a very long time. Uh, I, had the, I had 90 days in the campaign when I get head capped. It was painful to say the least. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. And there we go. As I was saying, if you uh, if you hit the bad point in this bar, if you go above this, then uh, yeah, you cook a little. And your internals, you can see. So our own, this is our own mech here. This is structure or internals. This is the armor. You can see with overheat damage that uh, pretty much you start cooking away. On the internals only. Which can lead you to blow things up. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet system, inoperable. Yeah, they're not the best at repairing our stuff, but uh, we're not going to get our jump jets repaired just yet. I mean, we don't really need them anyway. All right, we're going to go punch this guy. So you do have the option of shooting things, and you can also punch. We're going to zoom in for the punch, and we're going to give this guy the what for? Crunch. Crunch. And I just got myself an achievement. Nice. Alright, good hit again. At least that's solid. Yep. Push that engine, kid. Ramming our head Long into it day, is apparently solid. And we can sprint. So you've got choices as well. During combat, you can uh, you can sprint and you can uh, you can walk. If you sprint, it's basically like in uh, XCOM where you have no actions. Uh, whereas if you walk, you can have another buddy you can have another action yo yo you just you just uh, scrape some paint off me <sighs> I don't know Mastiff An impressive display, Sir Raju. I don't know this mech warrior was if I like that at all I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit <sighs> alright let's finish up here uh, we're gonna go for a sprint straight into the circle finish this mission off and get to the live action so that we can actually start shooting some things that shoot back besides this guy alright Victoria for the time being my father has summoned me to the picking and docks thanks Victoria and oh come here here I know the feeling cousin I know the feeling Espinosa mmm you're not gonna betray us are you not gonna betray us. She's she's gonna give us the shaft. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure she's gonna give us the shaft. All right. Remember what I told you. So um. Mission successful. Yeah, it's just the basic tutorial mission. It doesn't. Kind of explains how to get the basics out of the way. Um. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you'll learn a little bit more than the basics. I did get quite far. Um and. It, fairly okay for myself. I was starting to get up to heavy mechs, versing heavy mechs and assault mechs, and I was starting to get a bit, a bit sketchy. But, uh, hopefully I'll do a little bit better than the basics. In 20, 70, 66, 
Stefan Marius. Alright, so I am going to skip the uh, the talky parts here as well. As soon as it lets me skip. Thank you. Basically, that's our, uh, well, that's her uncle from memory. He's getting a little hands on y with the, uh, the whole I want to uh, control everything. He, he kind of just wants to do it himself, you know. And old Camille, she's like, look, uncle, take your stuff and get out. And he's like, oh my, you do not want to be pissing me off. Do not want to be pissing me off. And basically he riles up the troops and uh, sends them in to make sure that she has a pretty unhappy coronation day. You know? She just wants to, she just wants to put a crown on it. Put that crown on her head. And instead uncle's like, no! It's mine. I don't know, I, I don't know about the blackjack, like, it's kind of cool, it's got some ACs, but, man, give me a mech with some arms, some hands, any day of the week. I don't feel, uh, I don't feel too excited for having just guns for arms. There we go. <sighs> In we go. In we go. Command interface initiated. It's actually a pretty good force that you start out with. I love the Kentaro. Now, Kentaro. I would trade her for the Kentaro any day. Oh, come here. Pretty sure she's in the Kentaro. Wait. What's that smoke? A guard post. One of the small ones. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Oh, she's on fire. Keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. So the thing is, is we know that the old Kintara is pretty tanky, so we're just going to scout with her face. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Choices are, if you hop into forest, it does, from memory, limit your next round of sprinting. So we're just going to stay to the road, and we're just going to hoof it on up. Uh, and we're going to keep the blackjack towards the back. He doesn't want to get too close up with the AC2s. Um... They are not the best at close range. So hopefully we can just tank face with these two. And uh, keep everything off us. Personally. I mean, to, to grunt down a Kentaro, you got to put in a fair bit of work anyway. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent too. Do you think it was an accident? Yeah, sure. That Someone was smoking and uh, they dropped it in the, uh, the chem fuel, right? No chance! Ooh, okay. My bad. I just thought someone was smoking. We're gonna go meet our friends over here. here I won't let it derail your and uh, go talk to them about... Uh, go talk to them about the situation over here. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that, I have no doubt. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Alright, up the road we go. Uh, roads should give you a little bit more... Um, speed on the old sprint. So we're just going to keep plowing towards these guys. Gonna, uh, poor old Blackjack can't quite keep up. They are... Uh, Kintaro is a fast little mech as well. Centurion. It's got a nice AC to punch face with. AC 10. I do love these things. 60 damage. It's good damage. Alright, we're going to... Uh, come here. How far can you make it? We're just going to get you straight on in here. Uh, I can't remember if it fires off as soon as you hit that with one. Or if we need multiples in there. There we go. How Serrano Guardsman. Hail Mastiff. Lady Arano. Hmm. Dude, you look sketchy as. Guard post behind us was attacked. Uh, yeah. To know about that. Tell me, Summon Guardsman, if the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Ah, he knows what's up. Old Mastiff. Maintenance? Dude, do you not, like, keep your shit up to date? No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out on parade duty in that condition. 
Damn it, girl. We don't have time. Take him. Take him all. Get yeah, get behind me, baby. Alright, so hopefully uh, they're going to just punch us all. Good bit of punching. Good bit of punching from the old panther. Panther's got a PPC. And uh, we got a Shadow Hawk over here. They are pretty damaged. You'll find a lot of the early game, the things you come up against are already very, uh, very chewed up. Uh, Lady Khmer here is actually blocking our vision on the road, which is kind of a little annoying. So what we're going to do is uh, Mastiff here. He's got first move before the, uh, the next medium, and we can take moves with our mediums. This guy's probably going to roll in and... Just plow Camille a bit. Uh, she's not going to mind too badly. Well, she is actually. Uh, the evasion's kicking in a bit. I would prefer to be in trees. Of all things. I would prefer to be in trees. So we've got two evasion here. We've got two evasion left on ours. We kind of need to skedaddle out of the road so that we can fire on this guy. Thing is, is we can start taking evasion pips off and leave probably a clear shot for our blackjack back here if we just plow this guy right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to move out of here. We're going to shoot him in the side. Just back up. Shoot him. He's not got a huge amount of armor on the side anyway. Uh, we're talking, what's that? Uh, 42 before we get through. Uh, we'll probably turn off our LRMM because at this range, the long range missiles are going to really suck. And they're not going to do too much. Here we're doing... What are we doing? Um, uh, 48-ish. God, it was easier to do maths when these were 10s, right? Uh, we should just go right through this guy like butter, though. I'm pretty sure. If we hit. That is if we hit with everything, right? There's a couple that are flinging on through. But, uh... He's lost a torso, he's lost an arm, he's lost a leg, he's on the ground. He's not going to stand much more of this. Luckily, Kamiya is now in trees, so 25% less damage there if she gets shot at. Uh, we'll have cold shots from here. We'll probably move the... Uh... This is a little ugly having the blackjack in the middle of the road. Because uh, there's not a lot of cover for us. I could actually just uh, sprint and hold. But I think these guys, they're not going to last much longer. What I might do is I probably would not put them into vision. I'll move the the uh, Kentaro, the Centurion up. Give vision here. We won't worry about the LRMs not being all that good to use. In fact, uh, can you fire? What have you got? Alright, we've got a bit of blocked vision thanks to this dude here. So you're actually going to have to shunt onto the side of the path here. Taking a lot of time for pretty much a very basic mission, but uh, let's go. Centurion up. We'll blast this guy in the face. If you wanted to do this a little easier, you could have just had all your mechs um, around the ring before you do this, but it's, it's not going to matter anyway. None of this uh, persists after this round. It does persist in later rounds, but for this one, not so much. Because this guy's on the ground, and we were actually not far off killing him, damn. We, if two more of our missiles have hit, he would have been dead. Which would have been amazing. Have we got multi-shot here? We do. <clears throat> Alright, what we're going to do is we're actually going to multi-shot into the... Ooh. The danger here with the multi-shot is that we end up hitting... Alright, we're not going to multi-shot. The danger with the multi-shot is we actually end up hitting some of this other stuff. Uh, which would not lead to a kill here. And we don't want this guy getting up. Mastiff gets his turn first. No, we will. Okay. We will. Mastiff gets his turn before this one. It's been pushed back. Sorry, guys. This is a little hinky. But uh, we want to do something like this. So we're going to plow most of our damage into this guy. This guy's going to get shot by an LRM-10. Worst comes to worst. Mastiff's going to get his turn before this guy gets off the ground. Um, so it should be all fine. We miss with most things. I mean, the evasion's going to kick in for this guy. It's going to make things a little hard. But life is not going to be all that nice for him in a sec. Because, ooh, you got vision there. Alright, we're going to shunt to the side. 
So this guy's got no red eyeball. He can't see us, and we're going to have some nice hit chances with the ACs here. Uh, he could make the decision to move down the road and shoot the blackjack, who now has no evasion, but... The AI tends to like to shoot things it can see. So hopefully old Kamir here is going to be priority target. We're going to fire Mastiff now before this guy gets to move so that he can't build up any more evasion. We're just going to move in mostly for the kill here. We're going to rotate our mech just a little. Worst comes to worst, he has to shift quite far to get behind our back. Or he comes up here and gets some weird angle that we couldn't quite see. Building up a bit of heat. But we will have time over the top of this to, uh, damn, we hit him in the torso. Uh, we will have time over the top of this to lower some of our heat. And this guy, this is why you go to your mech tech. And you get your mech repaired before you enter battle, because, son, your mech. Alright, and what did I say? What did I say? He'll get some weird angle and he'll go behind us. Thanks for the love there, brother. Luckily, he's exposed the um, the side that's already taken quite a fair bit of damage. So we're going to get Kamir here, and we're just going to plow this guy in the side, right? Once again, Kamir doing the plowing. So if we look at this guy, he has no armor left here, and he's straight into his uh, torso here. So you have about, oh man, this is five, five, five left. Uh, we're not going to overheat, because I don't particularly want to overheat just yet. So without anything in these slots, damage has a choice of either hitting the head, the center, or the leg. Uh, the head's pretty much like 1% or something called 2%. Uh, this torso is going to gain all these hit chances going through here. So this guy is pretty much dead as long as anything hits. Save the poor centurion. You do have to be a little careful with the AI. It does love the um, the back shots. Alexander here, he's like, yo, everything's gone to hell. And uh, you need to get out of here. We need to go to Rotorua. Tell you, uh, tell you I've been to Rotorua. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, people. Traitors in the guard. Traitors in the guard. So this is the good thing, if you kill a few things, you can kind of get a bit of time in between to uh, get things going. Uh, actually, Mastiff, how did you do out of that? Hopefully nobody decides to rear shoot you anyway. Because I'm actually held on his rear, which is surprisingly good for us because it means that, uh, means that the front armor is pretty much pristine. So we're just going to push up, uh, and everybody's going to cool down slowly. So, oh, come here, here, she should get some heat back. You get about, you get about two turns of effective firing out of Kintaro before things start to go really bad. Do we have sensor locking? We do. I don't think we can do too much with that, though. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> we're going to push up towards this choke point. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some baddies here, but uh, we'll get in there. What have we got? We've got a couple of vehicles. We've got four vehicles. From memory, they're not in a great state, though. We're actually going to push really hard. Uh, I'm assuming there's a path there. So we're going to push up for that. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of armor. Most of the vehicles, they just kind of become slight damage sponges, but they're not as bad as a mech. If you see a mech rolling down towards, you know, like a heavy mech, you get a bit panicked, but uh, vehicles not so much. And I say that, and I have seen some scary-ass vehicles, I tell you. The old, uh, we're going to reserve here. So what we're going to do is the AI has no vision of us, so we'll push forward to us. I have seen some scary-ass vehicles, though. So Shreks, my god. Uh, so we do have a little bit of vision around this corner, it seems. So this guy, he can now see us. If we can see him, he can see us. Oh, actually, he can't. Interesting. Vehicles must have shorter vision range. Okay. 
Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep reserving here. Uh, because we want these guys to move up before we push this corner. Reserving is gonna be one of your better friends. Um... Because if you play the situations right, then, uh... You get to act after the AI is acted. It's not always the up. It's not always the go-to, right? You don't always want to be reserving, but a lot of times like this, we just kind of want these vehicles to push around, come towards us a little bit, close the distance. All right, uh, this guy's going to be useless to us, so he's going to have to sprint up. Probably sprint him on the footpath. Ooh, we might sprint around the corner actually. Uh, Mastiff. Uh, we've got no morale. I would like... You'll see later on we'll be using the morale options, but... Uh, without it, it's kind of annoying. Alright, so we can push for some... So if I were to go here, I can pre-see that uh, we've got about... 80% chance on this. We do get to have our turn. So we know that we get to have our turn before most of these. So I'm probably going to push the corner. Fire now. And then have another round of probably pushing for the thing here and then firing again. Uh, but before we do that, we need to get Mastiff. You, buddy, need to come over. Over the top. Here's little vehicles. Uh, do you have multi-shot, my friend? You do. So what we're going to probably do is we're going to multi-target. What do we got? Striker. Uh... We'll go you and you. Most of these vehicles are pretty much one shots. We'll change you over to be B since he's in the ring behind. Uh, I'm tempted to even go for a C here. But I think we'll just group up most of our shots. That should clear two. Actually, I should have because the AC, as long as the AC hits, it's a dead vehicle, right? Mm. Okay, that's not good. Although, I mean, in reality, this is it's pretty much a shooting fest for them, right? Alright, so we're going to probably do a multi-shot here. Try and clear out this guy, this guy, and maybe this guy. Oh, okay, we don't have vision on the guy at the back. That's okay. So you and you, my friend, will be a B. I'd say, how wrecked are you? You're pretty wrecked. A lot of front armor though, so what we might do is we might flip a few more over to B. This guy, this bunch of damage on A should pretty much just total it in a turn. Not always will you be able to just kill vehicles all the time like this. They do start to get their armor back later on in the game, and uh, they do become pretty hard. Some of them are pretty hard to kill. Alright, Mastiff, he's going to push forward. Uh, we should be able to AC this baby right here. It looks like a pretty clean shot. <clears throat> and it should be dead. We're probably going to try and hold heat on Kamiya here. Because she... Uh, she really doesn't want to cook off too hard. Uh, yeah, as long as we land the AC, even the two lasers will cook through this. There he goes. Down he goes. We are too late. Rotorua is, well, she's looking a little rough here, right? Things are, yeah, they're not looking good. <clears throat> not good at all. But we're going to push up. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, we're going to hold with you, buddy. We're going to get Kamiya over, and we're going to get ourselves probably up over the top here with a sprint. We'll wait a few turns. I need to get uh, myself up here, because we are going to be facing... Uh, we are going to be facing mechs in a sec. Uh, Master Fuddy, you sit tight. You come around. We'll take the trees up here. We'll push these guys around. It's always nice to kind of uh, get you guys grouped up a little if you are doing objectives like this. So you, my friend, take the trees. Uh, you, buddy. Alright. It can't be my uncle. Victoria. Just watched Espinosa battle mech. Plow! Alright. Yeah, our cousin. She's, uh. She's not a nice person. Alexander! 
and uh, <clears throat> the palace has taken a bit of a beating, right? All right, we're gonna come up here and uh, we're gonna push you around as well with some trees for you, baby. <clears throat> Where are your trees? And that should be everybody. Did I give you trees? Ooh, I did not. That's my mistake, actually. It's over, come here. The Rhino Legacy. All of it. What have you done? What have you done, you know, for years? I loved you like a sister. But then my father helped me see it. Yeah, your father is... Well, he's not very nice. He's, he's grade A. Not nice. Damn it, Victoria. I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Lies. Alright, people. Enough of the family bickering. Give me things to punch. <clears throat> Attention, all Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my <sighs> command. Fail to follow these instructions? You know why she wants us alive. She just wants us alive to torture our asses, really. <clears throat> That's all she wants. So, these guys have dropped straight in front of us. No cover, sir. Um, we're going to be a little standoffish with them. I suspect they want to shoot us in the ass, um, which is never nice. And I would love to probably blast the cicada. Uh, or is there spider, locust? So this guy does 16, 32, 57 damage. This guy does 50 damage. This guy does 50, 70 damage. He does about the most, I think. I mean, these aren't huge death traps, right? But this is how you kind of want to play. You kind of want to play to, uh, to make sure you go for the ones that have light armor, high damage, right? And then you kind of just want to work your way up from there. But this guy, he's not in a good place. So if I reserved there, the reason I didn't reserve is because they would move. And they would start getting their evasion up and they would start getting in cover. Whereas if you take that first move to sort of blast them in the face, then uh, life's a little easier. Just a, a little easier. Alright, so Mr. Cicada here, he still hasn't had a move. Also, if you reserve, uh, these guys would have moved and then you only get one shot into this guy. The guy, the spider at the back is insane by not moving. Uh, we are just going to full tilt onto this guy. There's, uh, there's no surviving for him. One pure hostile indeed. Uh, next up, we're going to group up on the spider. Uh, I could go for the locust here, which is pretty much... Uh, well, the problem with this, he has very little armor, but he's moved and he's in the cover. So we're kind of actually a little less effective against him, whereas this guy has not moved. He's just sitting, plain as day. You know, he's just like, yo, just shoot me. And I'm like, yes sir, I will. He's going to get knocked down, which means Mastiff's going to get a shot into him. Because he's going to get pushed a action phase here. Let's see how we do. That cracks me up, that sound. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units, stand down and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist and you will be fired. Oh, I'm gonna resist, buddy. Bing bong, bing. <clears throat> Sure did. I gave him my trust. He was a family. He was a family man. Alright, so with this guy knocked, he gets pushed back a phase. He's, so he's now in phase three. 
every time you get uh, so whatever phase you're in so a light mech is obviously phase four medium is phase three heavy is phase two assault is phase one whatever phase you're in if you fall over you get pushed back a phase which means mastiff now gets to have a jolly good time with your center torso here uh, we could ease up but what I'm looking for is actually probably not gonna fire the AC <clears throat> if any of these missiles hit he's dead so we've got a bit of splash damage going on here if any of these medium lasers hit we've got a fairly decent chance to hit the center torso we don't want to fire the AC because we want to kind of hold off on the refire there um, I'm gonna see what this guy he's probably gonna come around this way <clears> that's <throat> not scripted uh, but you can tell he just kind of wants to shoot you on the side right and uh, it's the better place for him to fire from so he's just gonna move up here shooting into that side of our mechs not so bad <clears throat> so what we're gonna look to do here is we're probably just gonna look to three evasions not nice He's going to get to move again. Mm. What I would have liked to have done is probably punched him. Uh, what do we do? We only do 40 damage. This is not a punching mech, the blackjack. 40 damage on this guy. If it hits, say, here, transfers through, we would maybe get halfway through that uh, on a leg... On a torso, we would be a kill on a torso if we hit here. Hmm. Sure, we might go for it. 40 is not great. I would have preferred something like uh, one of these guys to be doing this. But it does ignore the evasion that he's got built up. And it also would shave off one of his evasions. We do a lot more. Uh, Alright, alright. Uh, we are going to reface though. I don't like the fact that he's coming at us sideways, and we're just going to blast him. Yeah. See, this is this is the main problem here, is that we lose a lot of our chances. We're probably going to ease off on the ACs. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I should have gone for the punch. Should have gone for the punch. Oh well. Hopefully, Camille. She does her job here. We're going to probably come in from the side. We are still hitting. Uh, no, actually, we're hitting the side of this mech. I would have preferred to hit him from the front. Can we actually group up on... Hmm. I could take here to shoot into the front. Actually, we could take here. This is not bad, the spot here, actually. Um, reason I want to shoot him in the front is because I kind of want to just make sure that we either hit spots that have been hit or... Uh, or the center torso, right? So if I shot him from the side, I would shoot most of this, but then we would be stuck with this. Whereas, oof, oh, we've got chances for that. So we're going to ease off with probably the uh, LRM. I'm going to probably turn off a laser here. Should get us under the th heat threshold. If most of this hits, this guy is in for a world of pain anyway. Hopefully... Hopefully... Sorry guys, I am skipping some of this conversation. I, I do like to shoot things more than I like to read. Um, battle's over fairly much. Uh, we're getting told by Alex to fairly much uh, shut up and run for it. Meanwhile, Camille's like, but, but, dead bodies. You get to that ship, Alexander. And Alexander's Maybe like, just get out of here. Love these things. Look at this. Got to get in that thing. All right. So we will get a little bit of time to cool our mechs here because we are running a little hot on Khmer. Uh, Kintaros, if you didn't hear me say it before, they are toasty. So we've got a couple of vehicles coming in here. What we're going to do is we're probably just going to reface here. Um, just to get up on this. We're probably going to get shot. I could have moved them a bit further. I just want these things to come towards me. We're going to brace up. It's not going to matter too much that we've got no evasion. These things should be one hits for us. Do a bit of damage. 22. It's not the greatest, but uh, we'll take it. We're going to reserve. I want this guy to come in.
And we're probably going to mash this guy. I'd say he's SRMs and LRMs. That looks like a bunch of uh, SRMs and LRMs to me. Fours and twos. Fours and twos. Alright. Uh, first up. Have you got, really got no vision? Hmm, interesting. Uh, so we're going to need to move you down. Kamiya, she needs to probably move and brace here. Alternatively, we could do some maths, I guess. We're going to get a turn of firing without the, before these guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to push, fire lasers for about 50 damage. Turn off most of this stuff and try and cook ourselves some heat. Although the lasers tend to be... Hmm. Is there any problem with these things? They cook really hot. Alright. I think we're just going to go in with a laser. If it hits the front, we're good to go. We do get another turn of... Uh, we do get another turn of firing before these things do. So we're going to push the blackjack down as well. In fact, I should have probably have just cooled Khmer off there. Um, that sounded like we just popped something else. Uh, we're going to open up with probably our medium lasers on this guy. Bunch of 80s to hit him. It's fine by me. See you later, alligator. <clears throat> Alright, Mastiff, buddy. <clears throat> You're going to destroy this one for us. We are actually going to probably put our AC into this one. Uh, it should be alright killing that actually with just without that. Worst comes to worst, uh, the blackjack can put some work in anyway. Uh, we just you don't have to save the AC fire here, but uh, there's no real need to on some of these vehicles. You can kind of work out quickly the damage of what you need to do. I'm not great at maths, but uh, you can kind of have a little bit of a guess. And save yourself some uh, <clears throat> save yourself some time and heat. Heat's the most important thing. Refire. I mean, if you don't have to fire, cool. Every time you fire an AC, if you fire it twice, it gets a uh, gets a debuff where it becomes harder to fire. It's basically like the dude firing the twenty mil millimeter cannon off his hip, right? You know, the first shot probably goes where he wants it. The second shot's probably miles into the air. Alright, we're going to brace here. This will be nice for us. This is all heat for us. Before we push up on this. Uh, hmm. Why are we still jammed in movement here? Turrets. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so I've got two choices. I could probably go for a sprint, which I may do. I'll probably sprint to here. We will trust in the evasion plus armor. It's not a lot of armor, but uh, hopefully the tree cover will do us some work as well. So we'll take the sprint to there with the centurion. I should probably bring uh, Kamira up, actually. Your last chance, cousin. Don't make me kill you. Do whatever you must. Alright, you fool. You fool of a took. And what do we got here? We have... Hey, hey, hey. There better not be a death room above. Oh. Come on. Is that a Wolverine? That is a Wolverine. Man, those death room aboves. I hate those. Every time I see the AI do a death from above, I'm like, please, sir. Why do you hate me so much? Um... Okay, so he's in the medium phase, so that should be cool. Uh, what we're going to do is we're probably going to roll into these trees here. I think we've got some turrets that are going to give us the the goer as well. Two sets of medium lasers. These things are fairly well armoured. I'd rather just bash this guy to death. Um, <clears throat> it's got no evasion. If you death them above with uh, no skill for it, it is not good for you, buddy. What do you got for... Alright. What I would like to do here is I would have preferred to shoot him in the side. And the reason I want to shoot him in the side... 
is because those legs are pretty damaged. And you've got, I think, about a 30% chance to hit a leg. And if we look at these legs, if we can knock him, he then loses vision for these turrets. So I've kind of exposed myself a bit poorly here, but hopefully if we just blast this guy, we'll rip a leg off. Uh, we're going to fire in everything. Probably not the Iron 5s. It's a bit of a waste of heat. And we're just going to have to cross our fingers and hope that we hit some leggage. That's not look promising. Oh, left leg destroyed. Down he goes. So now, from memory of Beta, his vision should now be gone on Khmer, uh, which means the turrets now have no vision. Uh, and it also means that we're going to get cooled shots on this guy. So, yeah. So there's no. So you can see these guys don't have vision on us anymore. If a mech's knocked down, it loses its vision circle to about, I think it's like here or something. Uh, which is great. Ooh, I shouldn't have moved in actually. I should have, ugh, whatever. Uh, we're going to go for the other leg. As soon as you lose two legs, um, life is difficult. I should have moved to maybe this side to fire on that leg a bit better. But hopefully we score. We just need two hits on that leg, really. Doesn't look promising. We do get Mastiff in first. Yeah, so they can still see Mastiff, unfortunately. Mastiff will be in first. Uh, actually, everyone's going to be in first because that Wolverine is pooped on, my friend. Pooped on. I should have just gone for the torso. Uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at not being able to move that well. Wow, Mastiff. Buddy. Um... We're going to reserve down here before this thing gets up. I would prefer for you to finish. Actually, you better off shooting at turrets. Uh, what are you? About 50 damage plus some medium lasers. How far can you get to fire your medium lasers? You can do pretty well. Uh, come here. You're probably better off finishing this guy then. If I rotate here, actually, how did we do on the legs? Mm -mm. And she's pretty hot. Mech-wise. Portrait-wise, yeah, I suppose she's, she's, a, she's a looker. Alright, we're going to rotate here, shoot from the front. I should maybe just go for the torso here, but uh, we'll see how we do. She, what were we talking about? Yeah. Legs. I mean, we need two to hit. Uh, he does have a bit of forest cover. Uh, which will mitigate this a little, but don't want to go in too hard on that. Alright, we just have to pray for this. That looks pretty good, though. I'm seeing a lot of orange in there. There we go. Left, right leg gone. Mixed toast. Thank you very much. So now, you buddy. I don't want to move you in so close that you are. Yeah, alright. What can you got from here? This is good. That is nice. I'll move you up. Start toasting this guy down so that he can stop shooting us. Please, sir, leave my mechs alone. These things are really grunty, though. They got a lot of armor. They don't have a lot of health, but... <sighs> they, uh, they do a lot of damage. There's a mission later on that you'll see that they are not the friendliest of people, these turrets. Especially the AC and missile variants. Alright, let's toast this guy. Uh, we're going to need some... We need the AC to hit fairly much. If the AC hadn't hit, we wouldn't have got through that. But uh, with the AC, pretty easy. Alright, Mastiff buddy. Up you go. I tell you, you're not, you're not about to... Uh, have a good time, but that's alright. Uh, we'll go for a sprint here. Come here. Can you just get your butt up there? Get your butt up there? Oh, actually, that's me. Anno, get your butt up there. Left, right, left. Alright. Um, uh, you, buddy, can stay there. You, my friend. And you go, and you go here, because we're going to need to scarper for the exit. Alexander, thank the gods you made it. Five minutes is a long time. Uh, Alright. 
Apparently we have to watch uh Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. Apparently we have to watch her get her butt up here. This takes five minutes, apparently. Uh oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get in there, woman. Get in there. It's the old loading ramp. Deploy the ramp, sir. Oh. Oh. We do get um We do get a few freezed frames here. Victoria. Victoria! Wow, that is... What is that one? Is that a... Uh... I can't tell what that is. Those are some... Orion, some heavy ass mechs. That's what that is. Alright. I trained you for this! <laughs> Bro. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha You trained me for nothing, buddy. I'm out of here. Engine heat critical. Error. Shutdown initiated. Trouble with your blackjack, Anato. Shame. Shame. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sabotage. And you're gloating about it. Yeah. You outweigh me, woman. Mech-wise. Pretty sure weight-wise you probably don't. You look uh, pretty thin there. But, uh... Yeah. I wonder, it would have been interesting to see how this fight goes down and then have your pilot survive. I'm pretty sure it would have been horrendous. Alright, eject! And off we go. Now come for me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. And Camille's like, I'm out of here, boys. <laughs> I'm out of here. Alright. We, uh... We jettisoned out our uh, glorious teacher. Things are not going to go well for him. Life is hard as the Mastiff. Get beaten like a dog. I'm just going to wait for it to load a little. So the next bit of the story is, uh, spoiler alert, is uh, fairly much we wake up rescued and our master is... Well, he's not long for the world. Versing old, uh... For versing that kind of uh, firepower. Sorry, I was just reading the note in the top corner. I thought it said plus on the screen. I thought, wow, I get rate If I see them on the radar, I didn't realize it was saying actual weapons. But, uh, yeah... He, he fairly much goes down fighting. Uh, we get, uh, well, we get a little wrecked. I might let this run run out. It is a nice little animation, this, actually. I do. If you get the chance, like, I've seen these animations before, but if you're playing the game, watch the animations. They are some amazing stuff. Hey, Victoria. And the music, I love the music. It's good stuff, actually. Yeah, poor old Mastiff. He, uh... He takes one for the team. And, uh... PPC to the face. PPC to the face. What is that? That's, uh... That looks like a, uh, a catapult. And, uh... Poor old... Come here. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna take a few missiles to the, uh, drop pod. Stirring music. Play. I thought I'd let that one play. I do, I... Uh, I've said it before, I do like the scenes. Eight hours later! Corridor. Easy there. I just, I just, we just wake up, we're like, dude, what happened? Darius, he's like, yo, I got you, buddy, I got you. Uh, yeah. They're a mercenary outfit, the, uh, Mark and Marauders, and, uh, well... I'd introduce you to Markham, but yeah, he took a little bit of uh, firepower to the face. He took a few bombs to the face. 
And uh, we're just gonna get through a bit of conversation here. He didn't make it. Why? You rescued me. Why? Yep, seemed appropriate that we would just pick you up. I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't know. As a mercenary, do I feel like I would pick up some random dude? Maybe, I mean, he's pretty well trained. I mean, well, I'm pretty well trained, right? I came from Mastiff, being, gladi being a gladiator. You know, I suppose I'm probably a pretty good pickup. I think this guy's just into me, really. Look at him. He's giving me the, he's giving me the sideways look. He doesn't even look me in the eye. Buddy, I'm here. You know, you want, you want to look at me? Nope! <laughs> Alright! What about Mastiff? Siraju! Ah, uh, we found his mech. It was completely caught out. I don't know why they would uh, leave his mech. Uh, we able to recover mine! Yeah, your mech's fine. We'll just give it a bit of a shine job. Remove the damn flimmin' sabotage from it. It's good! It's good! So what happens now? Well, things aren't looking so hot around here. Yeah, they're not. They're not indeed. So we're going to book it out of uh, the Oregon Reach. God, I hope I'm pronounced. I'm going to say it now. I will pronounce things wrong. I will pronounce them horribly wrong. I'm so sorry. All right. Damn it. What a waste. Yep. Her job ship was destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, damn it. What a waste. I would have loved to have gone out with her. All right. Uh, we are out of here. We're gonna uh, book it to some far, far out place. Um, we are the uh, Capillian Confederate Confederation. Um, so we get a little bit of an extra thing here, uh, and we're gonna be like, "Yo, we could go there, but it's not my home anymore because I got betrayed, and uh, we're gonna need to make some money. Think it over. Sleep on it." One hell of a day. Well, I tell you what, buddy. We're not doing that. Because we're going to join you. And we're going to make you into one hell of a mercenary company. With uh, our little budget spider here. Little budget spider. Our blackjack. And uh, what else do you get? Shadowhawk. A Vindicator? I think of the first four mechs you get. Vindy's a good mech, actually. It's a nice, solid... It's a nice solid scouting mech. I mean, it gets replaced later on, but to begin with, it is a nice solid scouting mech. The uh, spider, well, it, it worries me a little. I tell you, I wouldn't want to be the pilot of a spider. That thing does not look good. Well, it looks good, but it does not look good after getting shot in the face, like, once <laughs> by anything. All right. Command interface initiated. So everyone's seen this mission before, right? We, uh, we're up against the old damn miners. Well, we're up against the miners who are having fights with other miners. And uh, we're going to get shot up. So I'm going to give out... This might go horribly wrong for me, but I'm going to give out one of my tips for this mission is do not, for the love of God, let the generator sit around doing its thing. Uh, so the idea here is, we'll get some uh, objectives in a sec, is uh, we've got to eliminate the turret, the generator over here. And uh, any mission where you see a generator and you can get to it, and you can get rid of turrets, do it. That is my number one tip of the day. Anaro's tip of the day, kill turret generators. Do not... There's so much damage. I've seen people play this mission. Um, I won't name names, but if you've seen the stream, you'll have seen what he did. He basically put a mech over here and shot this with about 50 damage. This is, I think, uh, 100 to 150 health on this thing. And it took him about three turns to kill it. And the turrets just had free reign. I might not be able to, I might not be able to do it quick either, but... Dear God, don't let that thing survive for long. Uh, so we're going to push forward here. I've seen other people just take forever to uh, to kill it, right? And it is it's disastrous. 
letting those turrets have free reign on you. There's a couple of LRM ones, and they will just chew your face off. And not in a pretty style. The, I did it the first time, and I did it really well. I'm hoping the same will hold true for this one. Um, but we will see. Uh, so I know they get a bit cranky as soon as you get to about here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the blackjack behind this rock. And here we go. So there's a lot of turrets up here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. There's a bunch of turrets here. It's just, it's all sorts of ugly if you do not get on top of this really quick. Um, so we're going to put you here. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go for a walk with this guy. Uh, he's going to take the middle road here and he's going to brace up. <clears throat> uh, so you're going to brace and then my spider, he's actually going to take probably hmm, there's a move that I can do yeah we'll probably get you behind this rock face and we'll brace you the spider he is pretty much made a tinfoil here you gotta be real careful with this pilot otherwise life will get exciting so what we need is basically we need vision right we need vision to see this generator here we know that these mechs we know there's two mechs here what we're going to do is we're going to reserve for them. Uh, the turrets go in the last phase from memory. And these two, they're kind of going to book down here. They're not going to get any vision. So what we're going to do is we should be able to key this together, right? So we can get some vision on this pretty easily. Uh, you, sir, once we have vision there, you can fire that way. You can... Pretty sure there's enough room. Who are you? Is there nowhere to jump? Okay, interesting. I thought you could get up on top of this. Maybe it's this one back here. Uh, and fire that way. Uh, and then that should leave ourselves in there. Alright, let's key it together. Key it together. So, spider. You're going to need to do me a jump, buddy. Because what I need is I need vision. So we're probably going to want to jump here. Uh, just so that these guys can't shoot us in the butt. We will be able to get out of here. Pretty quick. So we've got vision here, right? And we can either give two choices here. We've got 70% to hit. I could probably key one of these into vigilance. Um, cost us 25. So I think we've got enough for this. He's going to run a little hop from firing. Uh, but we'll Vigilance in. So Vigilance just means you gain Guarded, Entrenched, and you can still fire. This is a crazy ass ability, this one here. Also pushes us into the next uh, phase for moving. So this guy's actually going to get a real lickety split on the uh, on the movement phase here. So it's got 100 health, right? So it's, it's pretty easy if you hit it with a couple of things. We just really want these turrets deactivated before they have their turn over here. Because there's a lot of them, right? And they are some angry ass turrets. Um, Blackjack's probably not going to do so well there. I would prefer... There's a lot of vision going around. Uh, I prefer that he didn't get shot in the face too heavily. Um, I'll probably move the... Oof. Shadowhawk will do 45. It's not enough. Uh, glitch. She does 50. Where can you get to and fire? Okay, so glitch can't get anywhere and fire. So glitch is going to have to go up here. This is going to heat us up a little. It is a little ugly. Uh, is there a step back? No, okay. So you're going to have to be in vision. We're going to just have to eat the damage. Uh, the Vindy is not so bad for damage. It'll give us some heat. We're going to cook a little here, but we will get a time to cool down afterwards uh, once we deal with this bunch. <clears throat> down it goes. So now we don't have to deal with turrets. 
Now we just have to deal with basically a spider and a commando. Now from memory the commando is probably your next target. Uh, he has basically 10 SRMs and a medium laser. 10 SRMs, pretty nasty. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just want to move. So what we're probably going to do here is we're going to swing this corner and I'm going to brace. The reason I'm going to brace is these two are already bracing. And uh, it makes life a little less fun if you're firing into fast moving bracing mechs. I'm probably just going to move you just around the corner here as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they're going to cope with this. Last time I did this I actually put my mech somewhere over here to give vision. Uh, they might try and swarm him. They might actually go for a punch. A punch would be the worst thing that could happen to me. Uh, so we're going to brace here. Now, I'm going to get to go first because of vigilance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve into them. They're going to move. Well, one of them is going to move and we're going to see what happens. If they decide for a punch, I'm going to scarper. Uh, if they don't decide for a punch, that's bad for us. Uh, the reason this is bad is we're going to lose our guard here. We are in trees, but this guy... Ooh, actually, that's not so bad because it was the commando. So this guy's probably going to fire on us as well. He's got three evasion. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but we'll reserve down. And we'll do our whole turn here. This guy's probably going to move in for a punch as well. This is not happy times in the blackjack. We're going to have to get the blackjack out of here. He might have been better off with a punch. I think they do maybe 20 to 30 damage. Uh, so this is fine though. We will roll in. So we do 50 damage with lasers. We want to shred down some of this evasion before we start beating on these guys. Uh, let's have a look. No, None of my guys have really got any skills. Behemoth is probably uh, the best here with bulwark. Uh, getting in close like that's not great. I can start doing the jumps to get... Yeah, these, these hit chances are going to be horrible. Uh, we've got four lasers on the blackjack. It's 100 damage. Probably better off using the blackjack to fire most of its weapons versus everyone else. Uh, we just want this commando out of the way first. So I think we'll jump. We'll just have to trust in... Trust in some of our stuff here. I don't really want to give them back shots either. I think we're going to take here. Yeah, that will have to do. The Shadowhawk runs pretty cool. Uh, I mean, jumping and in the old uh, Badlands biome is not hugely exciting, but uh, it does run coolish. We're going to turn off the Alarm Fives. All we're looking to do is really get rid of some of these um, evasion pips first before we fire in with a truckload of medium lasers. Uh, you buddy, you two are going to give him the bad news. And glitch, let's make sure you can fire, you can. Okay, cool. Off you go, Decker. Give it to him, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Actually, can you get, have you got problems from there? Is that your issue? Okay, you do. Uh, we'll move you. Might as well move him. Uh, simply because, gee, I want to shoot in the side, not the back. Uh, please, sir. Hmm. You know what? I want to shoot him in the back. Uh, see, if I shoot him in the back, oh, you're all right. Thing is, is, this guy's pretty much one hit away from death anyway. If we score two hits to the back, he would die. Um, it's probably not likely to happen in one spot. In fact, both of them are going to go off into the distance. Thank you very much, Spider. Thank you very much. Glitch, you're in next. Uh, just concentrate all your fire. If she hits, it's pretty good for us. It will wreck his day. In fact, uh, we're going to turn off our LRM5s, though. Alright, there goes the right arm. It's not the arm with the SRMs, unfortunately, but... It's a start, right? It's a start. Now, I need to get myself out of here. <sighs> I 
I do kind of want to just stay. I think if I fit myself here, there's not enough room to punch me in the back. Uh, so we're going to probably fit ourselves here. We do keep the trees. Um, and the medium lasers have pretty high chances to hit. Probably going to turn off our ACs for this. Although, I wouldn't mind it. I mean... You know what? We're going to fire in everything. I just need this guy to just die. In reality. Doesn't look good. Does not look good. Looks like a whole lot of nope. You just want to clear enemies as fast as you can. Um, this guy's probably going to turn and punch. No, he's going to shoot us. Sadly, we didn't clear any of the SRMs. So this is going to hurt a lot on the Vindy. Oof. Oh god, here we come. Head hits. Head hits for days. Alright, this guy barely moved. Um... Alright, the only place we can squeeze in here is there. We're probably going to just reserve. This guy should scoot out of there, and maybe we can shoot in the front. Uh, so we'll reserve down. He's going to probably shoot the Vindy here. Oh, he's going to split his damage. So every time a pilot gets hit in the head, I'll show you the markers in a sec. They've got some markers underneath. Uh, if this hits zero, they die. If we hit zero, we just end up in a wheelchair for a very long time. Alright, this guy didn't move. So, let's turn around. Let's go. Uh, glitch, I think you're going to be in first. Hmm. I'm still fairly happy with these hit chances. A lot of this, unless we hit this side, a lot of this is going to travel through and hopefully into the center torso. So now we can kind of group up on this guy. And hopefully wipe him out in this turn. Uh, some vehicles and a Shadowhawk are going to come towards us. Uh, we need to get rid of Vision. <sighs> you need to clear Vision. As soon as Vision's gone, these guys can stop LRMing you. Uh, unfortunately, they're all mediums, right? So... Uh, what do you do? You do 40, right? Uh, what I really need was a punch from this guy. Would just decimate this dude. Uh, you have no evasion, right? No evasion. Good. So we're just going to go all in with everyone, I think. This kind of gets us in. Kind of twists us around so we stop taking LRMs to the back. Uh, whoop, not enough, actually. Not enough. Alright, let's start shredding this dude. Uh, a lot of this damage should travel through if we hit. Huh. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby, was that not good. Got a hit with a medium laser. Alright, this is probably not. No SRMs? Okay. Uh, 30 damage versus 50. I am keen for the 50 here. Two hits will be beautiful. Uh, was that spread or was one miss? I couldn't quite tell. We're going to just... Yeah, we're just going to have to do our best with this guy. Uh, how far can I jump? I could jump to here, give ourselves really good chances on the one side. Is definitely how we're going to go. We're going to spend the heat. We will get maybe a turn before this guy gets up on top of us. Uh, we're going to have to turn off some of this to cook ourselves. Uh, we'll go with the AC though, or are you refired? So what we'll do is we'll turn off you, we'll fire in with that. Okay, that's still too hot, right? Do I like... I like this more, right? All right, baby, you need to you need to just just mangle this guy. Left arm, left torso. That's not good. This guy's gonna get another turn. Uh, we're gonna have to go in with our light to try and clear him. You really don't like my black. Are you gonna punch? Please don't punch. No punch. Mm. So the punches ignore the evasion. Uh, at least it's only 30 damage, but it's still a lot of damage. Uh, plus this guy's evasive now. And they have vision. Uh, 
If I punch him, I can't kill him. I need... I could roll the dice on a leg hit. If I did 40 damage, it would be fine. But I could roll the dice for a leg hit. He gets knocked, then nobody can see us. Otherwise, we're probably looking at something like... Hey, where are you shooting him from? Can we... Okay, you can't get there. Um, mm, I don't like the back hits. You're in the way. Wow. Uh, 50 damage through the back. <sighs> Is not enough, right? Uh, plus we have 35s to hit. I don't like any of those. Uh, what we'll do, I think we'll go for the punch from the back. Got a 90% to maybe, if this hits here, travels through, it's still not enough. I just like it to shed maybe some evasion off. Um, we're going to have to move our Vindy in a sec. Yes. Yes. That was actually low, real low percentage, that one. Uh, surprisingly. Um, but it's good. So now the vision... I th think they should still have vision on everything that's piled around. <sighs> yeah, I did say I need to use, move that Vindy, didn't I? Alright, the Vindy's taken a bit. Luckily, that's into an arm that has pretty much nothing. Uh, we are going to have to shift that Vindy, though. So who is in vision here? Alright, so there's no vision there, right? So Vindy's going to be first before he gets shot. Probably just jump him down, flick him around, and brace. Here's how we're going to roll with this. We just want to brace up, get some... Uh, some heat back. Uh, what does he got? He's got a small laser in that arm, right? There we go. Uh, the Shadow Hawk's going to be the pest here. He's going to be the one we have to deal with. Uh, we need to clear this group here first, though. So, Behemoth, you're actually going to. We're going to see if we can clear this guy first, and then Behemoth's actually going to push that corner. Behemoth's got the most armor here. Uh, so can you... I don't want to back into... Side shots into the side that has nothing. I just really don't want to back into nothingness, because we don't have a lot of good stuff here. Uh, we're going to chill out with some of this heat. Turn off the ACs. Uh, I mean, we've got 50% chance. If we land, ooh, we need to land two. Is there a chance of firing something like this? 40s, yeah, that's not good. Alright, we just have to cross our fingers, right? Excellent. We will get a chance to move this guy if this hadn't died. So we would have had another chance to fire in. But it wouldn't have been happy. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to push the Shadowhawk up the hill. And we're going to provide it as the uh, point of, hey, shoot me. Um, so up you go. We're going to brace up, get some heat back. I would prefer to go for the vehicles first. Because I believe they are pretty lightly armoured. Um, we're going to reserve in here. Although he's probably... Depends where he goes. He might still get vision. Uh, hopefully he has a hard time hitting that. I maybe should have put this guy behind this rock face. Because he might still take a shot to the face. He's pretty evasive though. We're going to eat this into a brace. Which is fine. Because now he's... Fairly much pushed this hill. He has no brace. 
it's got a bit of evasion. Uh, I believe my yeah my scout doesn't have anything to work with here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve in. We're gonna let all this stuff do its work. All it should really be able to see is probably the two braced. So even if they've got LRMs, it's no biggie. Doesn't it actually look like they've got. anything too scary. Are they actually heading towards these guys? Pretty sure I don't have to defend these guys from this. Um, shredder. What does a shredder come with? SRMs. Wow, that's a scary ass turret. Alright. Enough of that. This guy needs to take it to the face. Uh, so... We'll fire him with the lasers with you first. This guy will get two moves before anything really disastrous happens to him. So what we're going to do is we're going to bum rush up probably over here for a decent round of shooting. Shred our first bit of evasion. I mean this guy does, he does okay damage but it's not huge right. I'd rather just use him as a evasion cutter here. We are firing into the arm that has the AC, and the AC5 at this range, it's still fairly nasty. Um, what I really need is some sort of vision here. I really don't want to be jumping anymore, because uh, it is a little rough on the heat. Uh, from here, two ACs should be fairly nice um, to cool down. He has no vision, oh he does have vision on us actually. Uh, so if I push back here, he has no vision. I'm a little concerned he might push forward for us. Um, is there any way we can get a little step back? Uh, what do we got? Yeah, that's pretty good. So this way, he has to push really far forward to get any vision on us. I could actually shunt him with a precision strike uh, back. Actually, I might do that. So we're going to precision strike. In the mm, do I do it with him? You know, forget about... Uh, yeah, we'll take the 80s. So what I'm doing here is I get better chances to hit, but the main thing is I'm going to push him back in initiative phase. And uh, by doing that, all my mediums get to go before this guy again. So we get to sandpaper his armor a bit. We also then get to blast him with everyone on our side and then blast him again, right? Which is really rough for this guy. We could... Even move in for the punch. What are we doing here? We're doing 16, uh, 60, 70. We're doing about 86 if we hit with everything. Or we could roll in for a punch, do 85. Uh, 85 would hit at 95. That's not too bad. And then glitch. What are you looking at, baby? You're looking at... Quite possibly shooting him with the PPC from here. We can shift sideways, maybe shoot him in the side again. I'm down for most of this, actually. Uh, so we'd rip off that arm. He'd be down to not too much. It's a little scary because we are pushing really close with everything. Uh, but we'll go for this. Thank God that connected. For a second then, I thought that was about to be the miss animation. Alright, this guy's unsteady. It's not going to help us too much if we knock him at the end of our phase. Because he'll just get straight on up. Alright, uh, so this is probably the best move here. We're going to engage our LRMs as well. For some good times. This guy's not having good times though. Uh, we need it to kind of hit on this side, I'm hoping. It's probably going to go on one of these sides. You just know that it's going to go somewhere that's not important. I lie. I lie. It's just going to go straight into his torso. Straight into the torso. We're going to reserve down for these tanks. I'd like to see where they're going to go. Do they actually run straight? I ne I've never let them get this far. Um... I don't know if they just run straight for these guys. I mean, if these guys want to shoot them, I'd be more than happy. Uh, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to run this dude down the hill to go fire on this. Uh, he should be able to get vision from there, right? And those guys are not going to turn, hopefully. Hmm. I don't think he can... Alright, whatever. We're going to start moving this way. Uh, can you? I don't think you could. Okay, so you're just going to brace up. Uh, I don't know if these are... I don't know if those are going to cause any havoc. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We can get vision down here, interestingly enough. We're just going to move here, though. I don't particularly want those things shooting back at me just yet. In fact, yeah, we're going to corner this, I think. Like that. Just so that we, in case these do, I don't know, sometimes the AI might do something bizarre, right? They might flip out and decide to turn around for us, which I wouldn't be too happy with. Uh, working in these corporate towers, it's not an exciting time. I'd be uh, throwing my paperwork on the floor and running for it. If I was that guy, and you're going to push forward. You are super hot, but this will give us a few turns to cool down before we get back to the base here. Glitch, you're not having a happy time. I'm going to put you over here in case these just suddenly turn this corner and go bananas uh, on Glitch. I would not be impressed. Interesting enough, there's got to be a vision of this, right? I'm going to reserve. We're going to let these guys push. Alright, they are going to push straight into this base. Can you actually fail this mission? <laughs> that would be not exciting, but uh, this guy is probably toast. Uh, that's actually a bad move. I should have reserved. Oh well. Unless we get hit in the head, which is a possibility, then this is okay. That missile is just cruise controlling off into nowhere. Cruise control. I'd be interested to see if these guys fire in. You could possibly do some weird kiting thing into the base, but there's no real issue. I mean, you can see the only thing that's really going to upset us is the fact that we've taken an injury here. Um, because that is going to wheelchair her for a little in the medical department. But other than that, life is... Pretty okay. We're gonna just fire in some LRM fives, just to be a little cheeky. Cheeky beaky, eh? Um, how you doing, buddy? Uh, you're okay. We'll turn that back on, and we will probably brace up here, and then we'll start doing the sprints down to here. And it does look like the turrets do open fire. Cool. Cool bananas down for that. Alright, so now that we're out of having enemies here, we will start sprinting down. Uh, and we're going to... How far are you, Mr. Spider? We don't want the spider to be in first, because uh, it is nice to keep you guys grouped together. I mean, you don't have to think about it too much until you engage enemies, but keeping them at least reasonable. I mean, you don't want your scout a million miles in front. Because then he gets into a real awkward situation. And life is not great for him. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with you towards the back. You get over here. Shadowhawk towards the front. It's actually nicer to have a slightly tankier mech towards the front. Um, and you buddy. Just, just get in there. I need the blackjack to just get a little bit closer. And we will be good to go. Alright, and you go. Bindi. Oh, here we go. Brilliant work, Commander. Uh, speaking of which, I wasn't finished. Oh, bro. Put your attitude away. So this guy's basically like, Yo, we got some turrets. You got some mechs. I'm sure our turrets will do fine here. 
I mean, it's not like the generator's sitting right in the middle of the base. I mean... Sure. Sure, buddy. Alright. Uh, deck is actually going to reserve in here. We're going to let these tanks do their move first. We've got a bit of evasion built up. Normally, this is how it works. Is you hit the enemy, you have evasion. If you know the enemies may be there, then you have raced up previously, but... You kind of rely on some of this evasion to do you a solid here, right? And there is no way we're letting these crazy ass turrets fire into us. Um, so you can actually fire from here. Got 100 health on this thing. Guess what, generator? Uh, we know the blackjack does 150, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to Vigilance with the Blackjack. Uh, yes, please. That braces him right there. Plus he can still shoot. And we're just going to toast this baby right now. Boom, suckers. Boom. That is why you don't mess with the mech pilots. These guys are now going to come in on us. Uh, there's only, I think, two, three vehicles. I mean, they're, they're pretty much... They're pretty much uh, dumpster cars anyway, but now we should be able to get some handy dandy vision. Uh, what we're going to do, how much I could vigilance again actually, um, should probably be fairly good for us. Uh, so you're going to move here, you're going to fire, we're going to vigilance, um, just keep this damage down. See you later son. I should have maybe have reserved and waited for that last vehicle to come in. Uh, there is a vehicle, right? For, yeah, there's three of them. Where's the... Okay, he's there. Sometimes it's really hard to see um, what's going on here. Decker, what you're going to do, buddy, is you're going to give me some vision on all these guys. In fact, you're going to do it the hard way. You're going to go full evasion, my friend. Right across the map. Give me some vision. Brace up. I'm hoping... Actually, you're going to get shot, aren't you? Oh, well. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's this guy here that I think is not moved. Fact. Uh, you have moved. We've got two vigilances, right? So we could probably toast this guy and then get this guy with the two vigilances. Uh, so we're just going to party inside this exploded old building here. you got to abuse your phases here a little um, to make this work. There we go. And then this guy is pretty much screwed. Pretty much stuffed, mate. Alright, Decker. Cardboard Decker. In fact, Decker, you, you need to just relax there, buddy. Um, we really have no vision? Glitch? Glitch? Mate, get in there. Uh, side shot should do us. Three mechs firing at this. I mean, unless I have a really bad day, I can risk the... risk the hit points here, right? Alright, down he goes. Down he goes. So the only thing that we're going to have bad out of this is the fact that somebody got hit in the head. Ah, <sighs> team meeting time. Thanks, Darius. Sumaya. Give the man a prize. Mission successful. All right. So we didn't get into structure that I remember. I don't remember if I hit any structure. But um, the headshots are going to be the worst things at the start of the game. I... For my first playthrough, I had to hire an extra guy just to deal with the fact that everybody is pretty much the walking wounded most of the game. Uh, so we'll take that. We have gone up on the mercenary review board. Uh, the mercenary review board, from what I gather, uh, if you don't have enough, I have had instances where I haven't had high enough rating and uh, I wasn't able to hire anyone. Well, I wasn't able to hire certain people. I could hire the plebs, right? But uh, the good guys, like the uh, the pros, I couldn't hire. Um, so it doesn't look like we took any actual structural damage. 
Uh, we pretty much... Yo, is this lies? I swear we took. Yo, are you lying to me? I feel like this is lying to me. I definitely took some armor hits here and there. Uh, it's all repaired anyway. So we're good to go. Armor gets repaired for free. Internal structure, losing limbs, all that stuff. That costs you, uh, sea bills to replace. Sea bills are just money. Um, getting shot in the cockpit injures your pilot. Uh, which costs you time. Which costs you money. <sighs> the Mackie. 24, 39. So we've got a while before we see the Mackie. Um, yeah. So I've actually, the thing I struggle with the most is not the fact that my mechs get damaged. It's normally that my pilots are out of action. Because I did have, like, my key character, I pushed the guts up quite high. Has, like, about four hits before she has a hard time. And, uh, yeah, she got shot four times. And 90 days later, she was still in the medical bay. Alright, Darius, find me some better stuff. Darius is like, look, Sumia, I'm trying my best. Alright. Is this why you made me commander? So I could break up the fights and look at financial reports? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that's why people are commanders, bro. They gotta deal with the crummy stuff. Although you do get to pilot a mech, which is interesting. I'm not sure... I suppose you're a mech warrior, right? Mech warrior first, commander second. You kinda wanna go blast things. In real life, though, I mean, imagine your general driving the tank. He's like, let's... <laughs> Let's go! We're in the tank! <laughs> Alright. Every Sibu we make. Uh, so the banks kind of own us at the moment. Uh, it's not great. Uh, we do have some big loans. Luckily, we, uh, we'll get those paid off in a bit. Alright. I've had enough of you, Darius. What's the quickest way out of your chat channel, eh? Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are you going to do about it? Find me some missions, brother. Um, so basically the mercenary review board is the, the, the side missions. And then the dodgy missions that he finds is actually the story missions. <laughs> Funnily enough. Uh, he's basically saying, yo, what happens if we go around the mercenary review board? Well, you get some, uh, you get some crummy crummy situations like we just had, and we're like, yo, no guts, no galaxy. Can't say I'm excited. Uh, and he's like, yo, Yang's like, hey, why don't we just jump out of here and leave? And uh, Shumana's like, well, that'd be great, but the bank kind of owns our jump crew as well, so they ain't leaving. I'm no stranger to borrow trail. I <laughs> lost my family. So edgy, brother. So edgy. Tell Yang. Tell him about it. Yeah, boss. Alright. Uh, Alright, so this guy's going to go look for some storyline missions. Meanwhile, we got to look for our own paying jobs here. So uh, we can't really get that far. Uh, there's no prior... Well, yeah, he's just like, yo, just find us some jobs. And I'll find you some work. And this is us. This is the Leopard. Uh, so we're phew, glitches out of action for a couple of days. Luckily, I think, do we start with five mechs? One, two, three, four. So that's enough to get us going right. We have some experience. Um, I'm going to tell you the way I play. Everyone's not going to like it. It's not going to be for everyone. But I tend to do a lot of bracing and a lot of standing and fighting. So bulwark tends to be one of the primary skills I pick up here. So I'm going to talk about bulwark. Basically, if you stand still and you fire uh, and you haven't moved in that turn, then you gain guarded, which gives you 50% damage reduction. It helps a lot, I find, when you're pushing around and you just want to stand still, fire, and not have... Because not always is there a lot of cover. You're going to find there's situations where there's no trees, there's no rocks to hide behind, and you're in the open, and you take a lot of damage if somebody primaries you. So the way I tend to play is I tend to play with fairly high guts and fairly high gunnery. Um, I am actually considering taking, since my last playthrough, that my 
I tried, I did gunnery, I did multi-shot, and I did bulwark as my primaries. And I was thinking of going into breaching shot. I'm actually thinking of doing it slightly different. I'm actually thinking of doing uh, the piloting one for the extra evasive maneuvers. Uh, I tend to give... There's going to be one pilot who's going to have sensor lock and bulwark. They're going to be my sort of frontliner, scout, move back, sensor lock sort of pilot. So that's my play style. It's the one that I find works for me. If you find another way that works for you, good for you, but uh, that's how you're going to see me play. I, If you have no idea what you're doing, I recommend it. It's the easiest one, is to do bulwark and something like either multi-shot or uh, evasive maneuvers. And the reason it's the easiest to do is all you do is you move your mech forward, you brace, you take a bunch of damage, but it's only 50% damage. Then the next turn, you don't have to move, you can just fire from where you are, and you'll keep that 50% damage reduction. Which, in my my eyes, as long as you've got enough armor, and you're in a decent position, it's the way to go. So we're going to upgrade some skills yeah, here. Uh, we need somebody to be our scout. I don't have a lot of experience points. Probably Behemoth is going to be our scout here. Uh, damn, we're close. Guts is also a good way to go. It gives you a bit more health. So you'll see, as soon as I hit this one here, we get one more health. And the reason that's good is later on, you're going to find you're getting headshot a lot. And uh, if your armor holds, but your pilot just dies in the cockpit, it's not a good look. Uh, so we're going to take that for you. I'm tempted for the gunnery here. But we'll probably just save for the bulwark. Uh, so we'll get you trained. Uh, we'll do the same for you. You're already good to go. I don't think I can afford any more points on you. And then on ourselves, we're just going to book it into bulwark. Does leave us with no... Yep. It does leave us with nobody with sensor lock just yet. But it'll come, it'll come. Um... So you can only have two basic skills, which is this what row. So if you go up to, to the skill and up to the skill, these skills get locked out. You get, I think, one more um, of these skills. Personal choice is kind of up to you. I don't think Juggernaut's going to be a good one. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty situational. Um, things like, things that I like are probably going to be the uh, Master Tactician or if I got this phase, maybe something like Ace Pilot. We'll get there when we get there. Next up, we're going to hop into the mech bays. I'm pretty sure nobody needs a repair. Uh, we've got the bog standard. We're going to move the Locust into uh, the scrap heap. Not the scrap heap. He, he basically goes into storage. He's no good to us. Unless something horrendous happens, at which point we can um, we can pull him out of the out of the storage. But uh, for now, he'll cost us a little bit less, and we're going to rock on over to our contracts, and we are going to get a escort mission. Ooh, do I like an escort mission? That's all right. My favorites tend to be the uh, the battle missions here. Because they're just easy, right? You rock up, you shoot something, you're done. Max salvage is kind of nice. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit less than that. It's going to be like two and something. But we'll take this. We do have to travel out of system. Um, which is fine. Half skull should be okay. Yeah, two and eight. Uh, for now, our costs are kind of 230. 230 per month. We've got a fair few funds. I think there's nothing to buy here from memory. Uh, it's a panther. It's part of a panther. That would be kind of nice. There's no upgraded weapons. Uh, from what I've been saying, people have been saying that this is kind of all random. I'll probably just hang on to the money and salvage up what I can. Normally, you do pretty well out of the salvage. Um. 
that max rep is a little bit of a lie. If you don't, if you did something like this, uh, yo, you want to negotiate down? All right. Apparently, I can't. <coughs> ah, because there's no rep to be gained with these guys. That's why. Uh, you could negotiate these down if you wanted more rep on an actual rep bunch, but there's no chance here. You can look at your reputation and stuff over here, but and we also had the star map. We'll look at that after uh, a couple of these. We are going to accept this baby. We're going to skip along. I think it gives you a travel mission. Just because if you look here, I mean, if you do poorly in that, I've seen people do poorly in that first mission. And uh, if you do poorly in that, you do need time to repair your stuff and all that. Um, if anyone's screaming and shouting that uh, I should be refitting my mechs. I tend to like stock mechs. I don't know, I just I feel like I like stock mechs a little bit more. The only thing I should have really have done is shifted some of my ammo around in the uh, the Shadowhawk. It does have ammo in a very dodgy place. We're gonna get shaken down. I don't think I've ever seen any way to piss off the banks. Like, first time around I did this, I just ignored them and we got fair. Uh, we're gonna educate them on their mistake though. And we get fair. So, uh, I'll deal with it. We give them the... Basically do a hollow vid and give them the finger, right? Uh, but yeah, loan status. I've never seen this not be fair. <laughs> Alright, cool. I assume maybe it's a feature coming at some point. I. I don't know, I just haven't been able to uh, wreck myself so bad that I could not afford my loans here. Uh, Alright, we're here. We're not going to launch just yet. From memory, everyone's all good to go, I think. Alright, let's, let's just launch. Uh, so you get to pick out your mechs. I would suggest... Putting these in the order that you want um, to select them in. Uh, so normally I put the lighter mechs at the front. It's just nice if you have these in the initiative. Otherwise, the way you order them here is the way they're going to be ordered when you're playing the game. So if you put a heavy mech here, a medium mech here, a light mech here, and a heavy mech here, it gets really weird with selecting. Um, so I just tend to like my uh, mechs in the order that I think I'm going to use them. So I tend to have you down there. Uh, we're going to put somebody who I don't care too much about. Decker, probably you're going to get the light mech, buddy. Uh, we are going to take probably the blackjack again so we can stand and deliver. Behemoth is going to go in the Shadowhawk so she can stand and deliver. And uh, Medusa, my untrained pilot here, is going to get the Vindy. I should have maybe have hired somebody else just in case, but we'll see how we do here. Uh, everything's good to go. I do need to... Uh, I really should do a little bit of work to the Shadowhawk just to fix up that ammo. Ammo can explode, and if it's in the center torso, God help your pilot, because your mech's gone. It's, uh... It's not a great place to have your ammo. It's like walking on top of an ammo dump, right? At least if it's in the arm, it's compartmentalized, so if it blows up, it just blows up the arm. Um... If it's anywhere else, yeah, it's, it's not good days for you. Not good days at all. Escort missions. I've never had the escort survive. The damn, the damn enemy mechs spawn right next to the escort and just plow them normally. So you normally, I've normally lost one. Um, we'll see how we do on this one. Also, we've got some issues there. All right. Darius, commander of the local government convoy, is right on schedule. Good for them. Move to incident set. All right. All right. So this is a half skull. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but in saying that, you know, things could get a little shifty. So, uh, so we've got a blocking force here, and we've got to secure the route here. So we're going to blow up these guys first, and then we just have to make sure that things get where they need to be. Spider... Funnily enough, I could actually move the spider all the way up. Is that hovering in the... Alright, it is. 
Uh, so we'll probably take behind cover here with the spider. It's probably going to be vehicles. It's uh, it's normally vehicles. So that guy's off to there. He's probably going to hit some contacts in a sec. Oh, what the? Okay, it's not where I was expecting them to be. Interesting. Uh, so how are we going to do this? Tree cover is pretty important a lot of times. The Vindy is probably going to sit towards the back. We might take the road here. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to take to about here. Uh, you, sir, are going to take some trees. And I hope that didn't lag too badly. And that's a building. I thought that was a green dot for a second. I was like, how am I getting a green dot there? Uh, do I shift you forward? I could move you up and brace, but we'll probably just sprint for these trees here. I think I can rotate enough for that car. Yeah, I can. To not shoot us in the back. Uh, the blocking force is going to come at us in a sec. We're just going to reserve down, wait for them to come to... Uh, yay, yay. All right. Spider in from the side. Not what I was expecting. Right, so that now means that the enemy has vision on us. So if these are LRMs of any sort, they will be able to fire. This guy's got a lot of evasion. It'll take a lot of work to get him down. Uh, who's giving vision here? I think we're going to reserve. We'll see what else pops out. Spider's probably fine here. The vehicles should be easy kills. So we might get the spider up here hassling these guys. 50 damage. It's a little bit sketchy. We could make... Uh, nobody's got multi-shot. <laughs> no LRMs. Uh, we might see. The vehicles normally sit around here. And I'd rather my evasion does a little bit of work. So that's probably the entirety of this force. Uh, this guy does about 50 damage a turn. I don't know what's here. What we might do is we might hoof it around here. Has some vision on this guy and we'll decide what he is in a sec. He should only have one bit of evasion. If I can kill him in a turn, that sounds like we're getting... Ooh, okay, so there's another vehicle there. Uh, what are you, buddy? You are two small lasers and a medium laser, and you have very little in the way of armor. If I kill him now, uh, we're probably in a good spot to have no vision on us. So we'll try for that kill. That doesn't seem promising. All right. This guy's going to maybe have vision to shoot if he's got some LRMs or even a medium laser. That is sixes and threes. He's got LRMs and SRMs. Which is not happy times for us. This guy needs to die uh, straight up. Uh, so you're giving vision on him, actually. We're going to have to scoot this guy. Hmm. No multi shots problem. Uh, I could reface. Uh, we'd be hitting into the side. Man, we were. LRM 5s are not going to finish that guy off. I need to probably kill this guy so the spider doesn't get too hassled. So, what we might do is we might. Hello, you want to move? Thank you. Might take a move up here. Probably just hang towards the back a little so that there's no real vision. This guy might push up on us um, and give that vision. Most of these mechs... This is the only guy that gets to shoot beforehand. I think we get to move before most of these vehicles. So we'll blast you, buddy. Uh... Sure, why not? Let's just give him everything, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's up with the laser fire, buddy. You nearly hit your friend in the butt. There's only four, judging by the uh, blocking thing, 25%. Uh, so you, my friend, are probably just going to move...
Where do we go? So we're going to move like this, actually. We're going to move you here. Uh, we will go for the Vigilance. We want to kind of use our morale uh, pretty liberally. Uh, because killing vehicles, you tend to get a lot of it back. Yeah, so there you go, plus 10. So every kill, I'm pretty sure every kill is plus 10. Um, which just means it's nice times. 10% uh, I mean, sorry, not 10%. 45% on the ACs. Eh, it's garbage, right? But I just want to, I don't want to I don't want to get too close to this guy and shave a farmer. I want the Vindy to be the one who sort of eats eats anything coming at us. Alright, so we know that the spider's going to move first, right? Uh, please not a death from above. Okay. Whew. The AI is a little death from above-ish. Um, so you do have to be aware that you do cop a fair bit in the face. Spider, eh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's 25% damage even if he hits twice. The thing I want to kill is probably this. Um, before I start working on this guy. So we can get a vision here. And we can get most of our mechs to fire on this baby. Uh, yeah, we just want the SRMs. Especially SRMs. That's, that's a lot of damage in this guy, right? A lot of damage. Down he goes. So now we can group up on the... Uh, on the spider here and forget about I didn't did I give vision on this guy? I, I should have looked. Um should have looked if I got vision there. <sighs> we could punch this guy. Uh to remove some evasion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve down though, because I want everybody I wanna be working with everybody here. Alright, so punch this guy, he'll have three evasion. We move, we fire. He'll be down to two evasion. And we can not move and fire. Hmm. It's a bit of a weird bit of rock facing here. Apparently we can see a little sliver of his mech, but not enough. It would let us open up with a lot of damage though, wouldn't it? Uh, but again, I don't want to un... I don't want to have this guy just chilling, right? with no real ability to get out of here unless we think we're gonna kill this guy so what do you do 55 for a melee into the side 55 will travel through quite a fair bit of this guy so we'll probably go in from the side which means we can then get this guy to fire on the side and then some front attacks it's more laser as well does leave us a little exposed. We do ignore, I think, three bits of evasion uh, on a melee attack. Alright, so we're doing fairly well on this guy. He's lost all his evasion? Okay, he's stuffed now. He's absolutely stuffed. We got lucky with that leg hit, though. Um, shots to the side. Just keep going through the same side. I mean, now we've either got choices of hitting the leg or a torso, right? So, uh... Alright. Helps if we actually hit. Definitely helps if you actually hit. You know, but, uh, yeah. He, he's not having a good time. Uh, how are we doing? <laughs> For a second I was like, 132 on the leg? I was like, wow, how? But, uh, yeah. Can we actually... I would be tempted for... A better shot here. <sighs> I mean, this could clear him off. Or it could leg him. What we're hoping for is a leg. Which will then push him into the wrong phase. And it'll let the spider have a, our spider have a go at him. Or we could just torso him, right? Center torso, straight out. Not bad. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to push up for our little extraction point here. Uh, and then we're going to escort the convoy. What we might do is we might... Oh. Really, we've already taken a face hit. Hmm. All right. Uh, we'll push you up. Push you up. It's a little dodgy, uh, moving like this, but it should be okay. 
normally the escort doesn't spawn anything else till you get into that zone uh, if there'd been more enemies here this lack of lack of skedaddling could have been exciting secure the point spawn in our stuff yes no maybe okay uh, hmm. this is why you need uh, brace lot a lot of the time bulwark sorry as you can see like we we're, we're basically stuck with very little cover I mean there's some cover here some cover here but imagine if there was some mechs fighting here how do I close in on that all right there's very few ways to close in on that without getting just blasted in the face in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Alright. Uh, so now we're going to have to transport these guys uh, across. Last time I did this, the enemy spawned right next to this thing. Uh, it wasn't this map, but... Uh, that's how they spawned, and these guys just kept on trundling on like nobody's business. Old wheeled APC. These things. I tell you, I would not. It's really funny. The uh, the enemy get like uh, these massive ass tanks when they do convoy missions, and what do I get? I get this thing. I mean, this thing looks like it's like the. You know what this actually looks like? This looks like. Do you know the APC from Aliens? Ali aliens, yeah, from Aliens, the uh, the Marine one. That's what that looks like. Um, all right, we're just we're gonna push up as fast as we can. We're pretty good on the armor for most of our mechs anyway. Uh, and the first the first few missions are really not taxing on things. It's just the head hits, right? So Medusa is gonna be out for 17 days. Hopefully we get glitched by then. Maybe we might have to hire another pilot. If we get headshot anywhere else, suddenly somebody else is out for another 17 days. That's mostly the drain. And because you've hired more pilots, obviously, um, obviously you're just paying more bills. But mech-wise, you shouldn't really be getting mashed about now. You just got to be careful to stay in cover. Generally be braced if you're out in the open. Don't, don't engage out in the open if the rest of the mix, if the rest of the enemy have not gone. Just don't do it. I mean, unless, yeah, I can't think, I can think of very few reasons you'd want to ever do that. If you're not in trees for 25% or you're not in, uh, you're not in brace, then it's, it's not going to go well for you. I mean, if you have to push out into the open to get a shot, Save for your vigilance. It's really nice to just be able to move, brace, and fire at the same time. And that's how you can kind of do moving out in the open before you get a bulwark on a lot of people. You can even do that to move out into the open. So I find what I do is I'll move out into the open, vigilance, for that turn, and fire. And then next turn, because I'm not going to... Whoa, I'm not going to move. Um then uh, the bulwark kicks in. Jesus, mate. Um, you, just, you just wrecked the joint. Did you, did you not see the road? Like, there's even a bridge for you, buddy. You don't need to just run it over. That APC... Don't drink and drive, kids. Don't drink and drive, or apparently you destroy bridges. Alright, so these guys are going to hit this. We're going to get probably some enemy spawns in a sec. Um... If not, then we're good to go. Good to go. Uh, so we'll push up with Decker. Decker Kane. Uh, we'll take the sprint here. Vindy, you two can move up. We're just going to move everybody up. I'd like cover. Uh, if I can, I have no idea where the enemy is coming from. It's a little sketchy because we might be giving up back shots on the Shadowhawk if they spawn here. If they spawn over here, poor old Decker's going to get it in the face. Alright. So it looks like when they hit this, they spawn in. Uh, which isn't too bad. <sighs> I've noticed the AI just... They just full-on go for the objective. 
Like, you'll see it. They'll spawn here, and all they'll want to do is shoot these poor guys. They'll be like, yo, you're on a crappy little APC, let me shoot you. But, let me forget about the Shadowhawk that's about to just... No, no, don't spawn in on that side. Oh, thank God, it's, it's the pickup. Um, yeah, they just... They just see the poor old APC and just blast them. Uh, hello? Uh... Oh, no. Uh, that's not cool. Alright, Decker, buddy. Um, how far can you jump? It's not gonna be enough, is it? I get no vision. Can't even do that. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to just book. One of these APCs is gonna cop it in the face, I think. Uh, so you brace there. Yeah, these APCs are stuffed. I could have probably have bray uh, reserved and wait for them to come down the road. I was hoping for vision. I should have just reserved. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 Um. We got some vision here. 70% to hit with a PPC. It'll force, if I hit him, it'll force the others to come in for vision. So we might be in luck here. Could go for an even better shot with precision. Uh, it'd give us a bit more structured. I mean, it would clear off all these modifiers. I think we're just gonna risky though. I mean, 70% is pretty good. Alright, so that should now force this guy to come in for vision. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve. Oh my. Hello? Coming down the dirt highway. It's not quite the good highway anymore. Uh, hmm. I think we're going to have to go for a sprint with you. Take to the trees. I'll do that. I should have maybe have given... Vi uh, I should have seen if I could give... Anything that gave vision would have been great. Um, hello. Um... Probably go for a sprint with you as well, actually, just to get you up here. If I can get vision, we can fire some of these weapons. If this guy takes another one to the face, he might be a little upset. Alright, so this guy's going last, so if we can get vision on him, we can pound him pretty hard. Uh, where are you off to, buddy? Alright, so we can get vision. Uh, do I risk Decker here? It's not It's not that I'm risking the mech, it's more that I'm risking a headshot. You know what, we'll probably... I won't move him just yet. We're, we're gonna see what pops out here. It's probably gonna be this guy. Oh. <laughs> These things are coming in from everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna go for this one here. Because I suspect he's gonna go for a shot. Uh, we're just going to Vigilance for this. Just to ensure that we are braced. I mean, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter at this point. These me these these vehicles are not going to do a truckload of damage to us, but uh, it's just more about good habits than anything. I could have even eased up on the damage there. Uh, so we've got Vision on that guy. He's dead. If I can get some sort of Vision on this guy... This guy, we're going to reserve again. We want to see this guy come down that hill. Uh, apparently one of my units is not pushing into the circle for whatever reason. Alright, so this guy's coming in. Alright, so now we can probably push Decker in. Uh, for vision. And we'll see what we're up against here. Uh, a striker. Yep. And we could probably just go all in on this guy. And then... Uh, they've got nothing else to move. We could probably hit with some shots. I doubt that we can hit from here, but we've got some LAM 5s here. Uh, plus we get to go before this thing again, so Decker gets another round of shooting into this. Uh, so, questionable. We could reface like this. You know what, Decker should finish that. I just, I want to know what's over here personally. Can I jump 
Okay, I can jump for vision. Uh, well, vigilance. I'm happy to fire on that, actually. Um, for now. I mean, he's he's braced. He's he's probably gonna just box straight for the bad guys, though. Okay, so now we definitely want to go on this guy. Uh, we forget about that thing behind us. Can we? I don't really want to cross that road. I'll take the lower chances here. I'm fairly happy for Decker to finish off that vehicle. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, is going to get a go here. Please, sir, don't see a vehicle. Uh, okay, he is going to go for us. Alright. Well, thank God I braced then. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the AI wants to do, I think. Uh, we're definitely going to shoot this guy. But I definitely... Mm, do I move? So I can get... I want to shoot him from the front. Because I've already worn down some of this, right? I think we're just going to have to shoot him from here. I desperately would have loved... Uh, oh, that's not good. Oh, yes. For a second I thought it wasn't going to blow up. Uh, so we're in with that. Now everybody else can fire on that light. Uh, which will be great. Uh, we're just going to reserve here. I just want everybody firing. It'd be nice if these guys decided to open up with their guns. I think they've got... Oh, they've got machine guns. My bad. I thought they had ACs. I was like, wow, you guys could really do some work. Oop, that's not the button I want. I keep hitting escape too much to try and back out of things. Okay, so... 50... We'll probably fire with this guy here to shred off some evasion. And then we'll fire with this guy here, and then we'll fire with uh, the blackjack. The reason I do it in that order is this is the most damage, and we're trying to get the biggest hit chances here. Uh, so this guy's only got... Uh, you know what? We could actually move forward. No, we couldn't. I really don't want to be exposed there. So we'll try and shred some evasion with this. And do some damage, hopefully. Next up, we'll fire in with the Shadowhawk. Uh, buddy, you just want to get in the circle? If he doesn't get in the circle, am I going to have to shoot his ass? Uh, so next up, the Shadowhawk is going to move forward and try and shred some last of that evasion. And then the Blackjack with literally the entire DPS front here is going to just hose the sky. We're not going to move with the blackjack. The bulwark should kick in. PPC crit, so he's going to have a harder time hitting with the PPC. Did he shoot us with the PPC? Uh, did you get hit by a PPC? You did. Excellent. Excellent work. So he's going to have a hard time. But, I mean, these are some fairly good chances here. Ooh. I don't think I could get him in the side here. Mm. The move wouldn't get us far enough. So we're just going to risk our chances from the front. In fact, I could shunt him back. Uh, except for it wouldn't do us any good because nobody's going to get to abuse him uh, before he gets to do anything. Uh, damn. If I had shunted him back... Ugh, I should have done a cool shot in the leg, actually. Because then I could have shunted him twice for initiative and that would have put him behind our mediums. Instead, now he's going to get up. Oh, actually, Dick is first. Uh, we're going to reserve in. He's going to get up. He's going to have some slight difficulties firing because he did get knocked down. I should have. I definitely should have called shot the leg. If we'd knocked him, he would have lost two initiative. Is he backing up? Sometimes the AI does some funny things. All right, SRM four. I will take that. Is it SRM4 or SRM6? I forget. SRM4. Okay. Uh, you know what, buddy? Finish him off. Finish him! But donk a donk. Alright. And... Done? 
Come on. Uh, it's going to be annoying if this guy doesn't want to get in. I don't know how to deal with that. Am I seriously going to have to shoot somebody here? And I can't. Please, sir. Please, please. I don't want to have to withdraw from this. I don't want to have to good faith this. I, I just can't kill them. Uh, let me shoot my ally. No, 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 no. Come on, boys. Alright, it looks like I'm stuffed. Well, that's not the first... It's not the way I would like it to go. You gave me your best! Are you sure you want to withdraw? Mm -mm. I am. Come on, like, literally you're within... Centimeters, buddy! Is it because there's no... There's a square there, so why won't he take that square? Let's just try it. I just want to try one thing. Right, come on. Come on. Just get in there, buddy. Get in it. Uh, let's see if I can move my... I swear I can move my mechs here, right? Alright, I can. Alright, so, yeah. I'm stuffed, I think. I think I'm pooped on. Alright, we're going to have to withdraw. Well, that's... <laughs> the whole convoy's down! Oh, oh my god. Well, I went from pretty good to pretty much dumpstered. Get dumpstered. Oh. This is why I like the battle ones the most. You just kill everything and you're done. Right? You just kill things, you're done. Uh, we're gonna get wrecked on this. Uh, Alright, well we destroyed everything, we get a 10% extra. Um, you win some, you lose some, yeah you sure do. Even worse is the fact that we took an injury here on Medusa. I would like the panther. Uh, I suppose luckily we're not losing out on anything here. How much extra are we getting? Four? Sure. Sure. Give me the small lasers. You couldn't have given me the large, you know. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. Alright, so that puts us back a little. Because now we still have to pay our bills, but we didn't get as much. I mean, that would have been halfway. That would have been most of the way through our bill for the month. Plus the loot. I mean, we would have got... Uh, we would have got a bit more of a partial mech. Oh, well. As they said, you win some, you lose some, eh? And by win some, you took out everything in the way, and... You just got shafted. Hey, <laughs> caramba. Luckily, it's only a half skull, right? I mean, I, you pretty much... Yeah, in over your head. I sure was in over my head. What a disaster. This is what's going to kill us, is Medusa being 19 days. Because now, if we look at our contracts, we've got one here, which is an assassinate, and I actually... 
fail my assassinates quite a lot. Or we could do a second destroyer, which is a battle. I'd probably rather do the battle. Uh, we're guaranteed more loot. We have to travel for 17 days. But as I said, we're down people for 19. We're going to eat this financial report. But I think that's what we're going to do. And with that, we'll take a break. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.